Hey internet, this is Jacob Clifford. Entrepreneurship in the United States and throughout the world is on the rise, so there's a good chance that many of you are gonna start your own business someday, which means you're gonna have to understand how to calculate and maximize profit. Now in real life, businesses don't have the perfect cost curves that you see in a microeconomics class. I've ran my own business since 2007, and I've never sat down and draw my cost curves or done the calculations, but I do use the concepts, marginal analysis and profit maximizing all the time. For you to do well in your microeconomics course and exam, there's two skills that you absolutely have to master. You're gonna have to be able to maximize and calculate profit using both the graph and the chart. So let's jump into it with the most important concept in all of microeconomics, the profit maximizing rule. You always produce where the MR equals the MC. In other words, you keep producing as long as the additional revenue from selling an additional unit is greater than the additional cost of producing that unit. If you do that, you're gonna maximize profit. Let me explain it all using a graph. Now here's the marginal cost curve that you learned earlier. Notice it goes down and up because of the law of diminishing marginal returns. As you produce more pizza, the additional cost of producing each additional unit will be greater than the previous unit. So the marginal cost goes up. And let's assume that you can sell every single pizza for $10. So the price is $10 and that's the same as the marginal revenue. Which makes sense if the price is $10 and the additional revenue that you get from each pizza is $10. But how many units should you make? If you stop producing right here, the additional revenue is greater than the additional cost. You can still get more profit if you produce more units. So you keep producing as long as the additional revenue is above the additional cost and you stop right here. And you never produce over here where the additional cost is greater than the additional revenue. That's producing too much. You want to produce less back where MR equals MC. And that's it. That's the profit maximizing quantity and you're using the profit maximizing rule. Notice that I didn't even add an average total cost curve. You actually don't even need it to figure out the profit maximizing quantity. So whether the ATC is down here or up here, you're still going to produce where MR equals MC. I'll say it again. You don't need the ATC to figure out the profit maximizing quantity, but you do need it to actually calculate the profit. So let's say the ATC is down here and we're producing this quantity. The price times that quantity is the total revenue, which is that box, and the total cost is the average total cost times the quantity, which is that box. The difference between them is the profit, which is there. Because you're producing where MR equals MC, that is the biggest this box can possibly get. If you increase the quantity or decrease the quantity, the box is gonna get smaller. That's why it's called the profit maximizing rule. But if the ATC is up here, you're gonna be making a loss. But since you're making a loss anyways, it's best to produce where MR equals MC because the profit maximizing rule is also the loss minimizing rule. This is a loss, but it's the smallest possible loss that you can get. If you produce more output, or less output, you're gonna end up with a bigger loss. So you always produce where MR equals MC, kinda. If your loss becomes really, really big, then you should actually not produce where MR equals MC and produce nothing at all and just shut down. But this is not the same thing as permanently leaving the market. You're just shutting down in the short run and trying to wait things out. Sorry folks, we're closed for two weeks to clean and repair America's favorite family fun park. To help you remember this idea, think of it like an inverted stoplight. Anytime the price is above here, above ATC, you're definitely gonna wanna produce because you're gonna make economic profit. And if there's low barriers to entry, other companies are gonna see you making profit and they're gonna wanna jump into the market. In the long run, other firms are gonna wanna jump into this market because they wanna make profit too, and that competition is gonna drive down the price bring it down to here. But remember, this isn't a bad thing. Your total revenue covers both your explicit costs and your implicit costs, your opportunity costs. So you'd be making accounting profit plus extra money that covers your opportunity costs. So in competitive markets with low barriers to entry, you end up with no economic profit and that's called normal profit. But what happens if the price falls even further? It's not green, but it's still yellow, which means you keep producing, except you're making a loss. And when firms are making a loss, eventually some of those firms are gonna leave the market because they wanna go make money somewhere else, and that'll cause the price to go back up because there's less competition. And that'll put us back at no economic profit or normal profit in the long run. But what happens if the price keeps falling down? At what point do you just shut down and stop producing? Well, it's right here at the minimum AVC. If the price falls below that, you produce nothing, you shut down, you tell your workers to go home. And that's called the shutdown rule. To explain why, let's go back and look at the relationship between the cost curves. Remember, the difference between the average total cost and the average variable cost is the average fixed cost. And if that's the average fixed cost, then this box right here is the total fixed cost. This is the cost of your oven, your rent, and your insurance. Even if you produce no output, you're still gonna have to pay your fixed costs. When the price is below the average total cost, but above the average variable cost, you're gonna make a loss 
but at least you're covering some of your fixed costs. But if the price keeps falling and falls below the average variable cost, then eventually that loss is gonna be bigger than your fixed costs. Instead of continuing to produce and having that huge loss, it makes more sense to shut down and take your fixed costs as your loss. So whenever the price falls below the minimum ABC, you should stop and produce nothing. You should shut down. Again, you're not leaving the market, you're just shutting down in the short run. Sorry folks, park's closed. The moose out front should have told you. And that's what's happening on the graph. If the price is up here, we're doing great, we're making a lot of profit, things are good, okay. Still making, oh, price is falling. Oh, well, still making, oh, and I'm making no economic profit. I'm breaking even, my total revenue equals my total cost, including my opt, oh, price is falling. Okay, okay, well now we have a loss, but uh, at least we're covering some of our fixed costs. Stay open, oh, and price, oh, damn, shut down. Again, notice how it looks like an inverted stoplight. So for competitive firms, the marginal cost curve above the average variable cost is the short run supply curve. As the price goes up, they produce more, and as the price falls, they produce less, but if it falls below a certain point, the minimum ABC, they shut down and produce nothing. Now to help you remember this concept, I'm gonna add this to my wall. If you're making economic profit, start producing. If you're making a loss, that's okay, keep producing. If the price falls below ABC, shut out. But remember, doing this on a graph is only one of the two skills that you have to master. You have to also be able to do it on a chart. So you're gonna have to watch the other video I made and practice calculating total revenue, total cost, and profit. But before you do that, there's two things you have to do. Number one, if you like my videos, please subscribe and go get the ultimate review packet. It's gonna help you get an A in your class and rock your exams. And the second thing we had to do, it's time for a pop quiz. Ah! The questions won't be on the screen for very long, so you have to pause the video and look at the first comment below for the answers. Thanks so much for watching and for maximizing profit. Until next time.